Hello. Hey guys. Hi. Welcome to another episode of Sunday Eats and Treats. Yes. And it is our first one of 2019. Yay, 2019. It's here. It is here. Whether we want it or not, it's here. <laughs> <laughs> so get ready for the ride. So What ride? The ride of 2019, whatever's coming. Put your hands in there and get ready to ride. And just enjoy it, right? That's right. You know how we enjoy rides. We enjoy or the roller coaster. I love roller coasters, by the way. That's that's why. I love so. roller coasters. Like I love the ones that go around. Do you like the anticipation of going up or the coming down or both? Both. <laughs> both. There's like, something cool about the anticipation. Well, it, I mean, seriously, it freaks me out. The going down, <laughs> the going down part. That's like I know when we were like. You know that <laughs> the roller coasters and it goes tick, 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 all the way up. And you're just like, oh gosh! <laughs> and that first drop, that initial drop, just oh, it makes me just it's the makes best you want to throw up. But it's the best. I love it. So <laughs> it's awesome. Yes. So we are doing something fun to kick off the year. Uh, Judy invited. She had this idea for us to do a recipe upgrade. Yep. So yep. Betty Ein gave us a recipe, and so we are trying our first upgrade of 2019. So. And it is a Jamaican banana bread. So when I posted it, I said sweet bread because I couldn't remember if it was a banana or a coconut or a what bread. But it's a Jamaican banana bread. And Betty, if you're watching it, I don't know, but we are ready for the challenge. And this is the thing, guys. Um, any of the recipes that we're going to do this year, or a lot, I shouldn't say any, but a lot of the recipes we're going to do this year, we want from you. We want a recipe from you that you love and that may not be the healthiest, but we're going to upgrade it and do a makeover on it. So like a food fixer upper. And so I want you to send us, we want you to send us, you know, message it or whatever, comment, however you want to do it but message us the recipe and then we are going to upgrade or you can just give us like hey my favorite dish is whatever and then we're going to come up with a recipe too yep. so you can do that too because we want to know from you what you've got um that you love and that we want to make a little healthier this year for your 2019 year and then you'll have like a whole gosh a whole cookbook of 52 weeks of goodness of good recipes. Well, we hope they're well, good. Well, hopefully they're good. <laughs> We're going to make them over in hopes that they're great. So, the anyway. The intent is to make them good. Yes. So. All right, so let's... So this is the this is the Jamaican banana bread. And I don't know what we're going to call it because I don't know if it's going to be Jamaican anymore. But I don't know, but we're going to have fun with it. So, so he's going... Actually, what did I do with that fork? Nice. So while we... Um, he's going to go ahead and start putting ingredients in this bowl that um that i need to mix or beat that you need to beat so we're going to put the flour in this one yeah you were gonna smash the bananas i thought so. oh yeah okay <laughs> so i'll put because we're gonna put the smash stuff in this oh yeah i'm trying to remember everything <laughs> okay so here's what we're gonna got we've got we've got three bananas here that i'm gonna smash they're supposed to be ripe. Actually, babe, will you grab me down there this masher, the potato masher? The potato masher? Yeah, right there. So, there okay. you go. And then I'm going to do three bananas. And while I do this, he's going to mix in right here some of the flowers, the dry ingredients. So, okay, so what am I adding? That's two cups of this flour. Let me tell you, if you're gluten free, this is the best gluten free flour. There you go. It's we've, Bob's Red Mill. Yeah, yeah, we've tried a lot of flour and this has become our favorite. We're making pizza crust with this, cinnamon roll, all kind of good today, waffles. And they were like the bomb. They're yeah. the best. And this is a gluten-free one-to-one -one baking flour. That means you can just like, if you use one cup of regular all-purpose flour, you can do one cup of that. And it's a, um, it's a blend, so. Okay, so I have two cups of. Two cups of that. Okay. And then what's next? And then you've got this one, which is looks a like half salt. A tea, yeah, half teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt, and then three quarter cup, or sorry, three quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then we have one cup of sugar. 
And we are using That's coconut, sugar. coconut sugar. I'm gonna show you so. guys what I use. I don't go out and buy like expensive, like, well, okay, it is a little more spendy than others, but this is the coconut sugar. I just get it from Walmart. It's the organic great value brand, coconut sugar. And I love it. Okay, you're gonna mix that together. Just, just use these your, two? Okay. Yeah. These, these ingredients, yeah. all right. And then, Okay, let's see. So it's just basically we've been replacing the flour so far and the sugar from processed white sugar to the coconut, coconut sugar. All right, what's next? So now you're going to blend in this thing. We're gonna swap. Okay, all this no, 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 no. Okay, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> so screw that up. Okay, that, you're gonna take your um, butter. My you butter. It doesn't look like butter, Joe. So how much butter is this? Quarter cup. Quarter cup. So take the quarter cup of butter. Okay. And. And then a semi soft butter. Um. Sh oh well, we just screwed up, but that's okay. Um, quarter cup of butter, and the sugar was supposed to go in there, but that's okay. Um, let's do. The sugar is supposed to go where? In this, but that's oh. okay. I, oh, uh... I screwed it up already. So <laughs> that and let's see, two eggs. All right, two, two eggs. eggs. And go ahead and beat that. Okay. Okay. Try to beat that together. Okay. We're both leaving the camera. Sorry. That's all good. All right. So here we go. I'm gonna spray this. So this is Greek yogurt. Yeah, it's a quarter cup, I think. I'll put the recipe in. Okay, quarter cup. You don't want to use that. Well, I didn't want this to flip over onto the floor, oh, so sure. that I was being careful. Quarter cup of Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt. Okay. And then this is three tablespoons of pineapple juice. So guys, you could use rum too, but we didn't want to use rum. <laughs> so. Then it would truly be Jamaican. We'd have some Jamaican rum on. Yep, that's why that's Jamaican. So as I said, <laughs> it's a tropical bread now. Okay, so blend that together. Okay. And while you're doing that, I'm going to add the vanilla. Now add the vanilla. going to mix it with um with the spatula spatula okay let's go ahead and mix some of it in already this is pretty simple yeah really simple so okay you know oh yeah that looks good okay all of that okay and hmm. all right this is a half a cup of coconut we're going to mix this in go ahead and no keep stirring do it Get it good and blended. Who else is with us? I can't see anything. So hi guys. Sorry, I cannot see. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna add the half cup of flaked coconut. So I'm using the unsweetened, again, a great value. Walmart is amazing. I don't know if some, you know, some people diss Walmart. I don't, I think it's actually pretty cool. It pretty, has a lot of great stuff. And this is the organic um, unsweetened coconut flakes. So I didn't get the sweetened ones already. I think we have enough sweet stuff in there as we have the coconut sugar. And it's done. I just put, I just sprayed this pan with some olive oil and you can just pour that in there. Okay. And we are done with that. And then we're gonna bake it. And it's gonna bake for an hour. So we gotta come back in about an hour, guys. And that'll be okay. You'll be excited for about in an hour. I'm hoping this is gonna be good. Betty, it smells really I don't good. see you on, but that's okay. I'm gonna hope and pray that this turns out really yummy. Okay, so there's more stuff in there. You gotta get all of it out. <laughs> What's he thinking? I don't know. Okay. You can 
can see the coconut flakes. There you go. I did pineapple juice. You could do apple juice, but I did pineapple juice. And then I'm going to take a, like a tablespoon of the coconut, and I'm just going to sprinkle it on top. There's a glaze that I'm going to make here in just a little bit, but I'm going to get this in the oven. And, yeah. That looks okay. pretty good. So it's delicious. Right. We go for one hour, so that's a, a lot time. of good. That's a long <laughs> time. So we'll probably make dinner in between. <laughs> probably. So let me get this out of the way. All right. So what am I doing now? We're okay. done. I'm gonna actually make that glaze. All right. So Judy's gonna make the glaze goodness. So are we gonna visit now, or are we gonna keep going? Good time. So. All right. So okay. while Judy's get, making the. Uh, the glaze. We're going to talk about 2019, and Judy actually came up with the theme for today. So, do you want to? Uh, no, you did. Lay the background. I thought mm -hmm. we were doing the word of the year. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got all the things we talk about on it. We, we, we have so were many things. About that other thing. All right. So let's talk about this, and, and maybe what we'll blend them both in. So. The theme for, and actually I'm part of a, a uh, speaking group, and the idea or the uh, theme for the day that was kicked out was, no better, do better. Okay, and before he does no better, <laughs> I'm going to show you something. I've got a third cup of coconut cream because I want to show them what I'm going to do with oh, this. Oh yeah, absolutely. So, this so. is the glaze. Um, he smashed the, the box, but I got this at my Asian market here um, that I love. It's just um, coconut cream or, yeah, it says creme de coco. Oh, look at them both sides. Yeah, that's it. Creme de coco or side. coconut cream, whichever side. Anyways, it's just straight coconut cream. This is it's very thick. Third cup of that, two and a half tablespoons of maple syrup. And then I'm going to add vanilla later. So I'm going to go ahead and go on over here and stick that in the... Um, saucepan and I'm going to heat it up and thicken it and it's going to take like about five to ten minutes. So that's why I'm going to do this while he talks. So let me ask you guys a question. Do you honestly, are there things in your life that you know better that you're not necessarily doing better even though you know better? So let me give you a personal experience. So and this is what happened to me. So I'm I don't even know. Uh, I want to know his personal experience. So, the yeah. personal experience, I'm just going to give you the, I'm going to start from the beginning. So, I'm standing in front of a judge. And then judge says, young man, you clearly know better, but you're trying to be a law to yourself. And honestly, if you don't do better, you're going to kill somebody. That was... My 15th ticket in one year. When he was how old? Not now. <laughs> no, yeah, it's been when I was a young man. So when, he was when, when I thought 18, I was 19, no, yeah, yeah, I was young. Not so now. It doesn't matter when I was young. No, it does matter because I was like kicking his butt before he would be going before the judge now, huh? <laughs> yeah, so I'm done. <laughs> so yeah, so if obviously, you. <laughs> obviously, I knew better. But for some reason, I thought I was Mario Andretti driving everywhere in the world out of control as fast as I could, trying to be a law to myself. And, you know, I uh, challenged every one of the tickets and ended up with eight on my record. And uh, so clearly, I was not learning my lesson. I was, yes, I knew what to do, but I wasn't choosing to do better. So let me ask you guys a question. What in your life do you know better, but you're just not doing better? Maybe you want to lose some weight this year. And that tasty goodie that just is such a temptation, you know better than to grab it, but yet you give in every single time. You know that you need to go work out. You know that you need to, even if it's not to the gym, go take 20 minutes and uh, spend some time walking. Some of you want to, you have a habit that uh, you're trying to break or you're trying to do better in your school, your studies. You know, we have kids that are still in high school. They know that they need to study for that exam, but how often 
the night before, are they up till 2 a.m., 3 a.m. going, gosh, Dad, I'm never going to get all this stuff. I'm like, well, I could have been reviewing the data for it. I'm reviewing the homework with you and helping you study. They knew better, but they weren't doing better. So what in 2019 do you know that you should be doing that you're just not choosing to do? And I wonder if we would actually choose to do it and act on what we know, if we might actually catapult our life and the things that we're trying to accomplish into a whole new level. And uh, do you find that true in your life, sweetheart? That okay, well, yeah, but sometimes I need a motivation. Like I need a new reason why I'm going to do better. Why? Because, yeah. because here's the thing about motivation. You know, Jeremiah actually post, posted this yesterday. He said the key to changing your life is not motivation it's because motivation is temporary. It's inspiration. It's <laughs> inspiration, right? It's you get inspired, you go, I'm going to go yeah, change. I'm that's gonna what go I'm saying. Things. It's like I need inspiration. I need something to inspire me to do that. That's what I mean. Like I have to have a reason why. Like is it my health? There's got to be a big why for me to change it. There's a difference between a why and a motivation okay. because motivation is temporary. Right? I can, I can get you pumped up. I can get you excited to change your life. But when you, if you don't have a why you're doing it, the why is what pushes you to stay disciplined and right. stay acting on the things that you know you should be doing and that if you do will bring you success. Well, I agree. And that's the, that's the thing is like what is your why for doing it? And it, it can't, I don't want to say shallow, but it's got to be something pretty deep and pretty, sometimes it's like a health reason, like a really big health sure. reason. Like, uh, I don't want to have to have open heart surgery. And so I need to lower my cholesterol. I need to help my blood pressure. So I need to, you know, lose the weight. I've got, you know, some people feel like with their situation, it might be their family, their kids. Um, you know, they want to be able to run with their kids and, and knowing that they have like littles right now and they can't run with them because it's too hard and, and they don't want to feel that way or the aches and pains that they feel. There's just lots of different, but the why's got, I think the why's got to be pretty solid, pretty solid in your mind. The why's got to be deep because if the why isn't deep, then it's easy to make an excuse to say, you know what, I'm not going to do it today because of this reason. When the why gets deep, that becomes a driving force that lasts right. as you're trying to accomplish whatever goal you're trying to do. So so the thing is, uh, what did you call it? No better? No better, do better. So no better, do better. So here's the thing. This year, I've, I've never done this before. And last year, or last week, I think I said I was going to um, do a um, word of the year, okay? and. I got that from our train to sustain group that we were that we did um, a three week train to sustain group. And oh, hold on, I need to turn this off. I'm going to show you guys this before I continue telling you. But I'm taking it to you. Okay. Okay. This is what happened with this. It's almost like it started bubbling up like it did a toffee, and but I didn't want to make it like harden, so it's going to thicken. I'm going to add vanilla to this and some salt. I'm gonna put it down here and just add some vanilla and salt to it and mix it and it'll thicken even more. This is just like toffee. It's like yeah, that looks it turned great. out so with the with the cream and everything. And that's gonna be the glaze that goes, yeah, that over, goes over our top. Jamaican uh, sweet bread. It smells so good. Yeah, it smells awesome. So it just has the coconut, like I said, and then now it's got vanilla and it's got maple syrup for the sweetener. And I'm just gonna pinch the salt. What do I do with the salt? Okay. Oh, I wasn't going to put the that vanilla. I was going to do clear vanilla. That's okay. Okay. So anyway, um, so I've never done a word of the uh, of the year, and maybe some of you guys have. And I and if you have, like, tell me about it. And hey, Susan. <laughs> so the word, um, what I found, I started doing this. And my word, I'll show you my word. Jody's still coming up with his word, but my word is discipline. That's the word I'm using this year. And I, um, there's reasons why. I mean, I'll, you know, and I can explain at least one of them is I just want to be more disciplined in certain things and aspects of my life. And, um, and one of them is being on time to things or early to things. Now, I'm not late, like when I would, you know, if there's certain things that are really 
pressing that I'm not going to be late to those. But there's a lot of times that I can be late to something. And I just don't want to be anymore. I just don't want that aspect in my life. So the word for me is discipline. Now there's other stuff that I can use that for too. Hang on, I'm going to put this over here. Um, but now I'm just going to let that cool. So, but the thing about it is that just starting that word has helped me with this um, no better, do better. I all of a sudden, like if I'm waking up and I'm going to hit that snooze and I told myself that every night I tell myself, I'm going to get, let's just say six hours of sleep. That's going to be enough for me. I tell myself this before I wake up in the morning, before I go to sleep at night, I mean, so that when I first wake up, that's the first thing I remember is that six hours of sleep is going to be enough for me. And um, it'll be fine. And I don't have to hit the snooze button. So as I'm sleeping and I'm looking at this, um, uh, or I wake up and I, I hear the alarm clock, I'm like, going to do my normal habit. You know, I'm ready to hit the snooze. And I'm like, snooze, nope, I'm disciplined. And that's the word, it just pops up into my head because it's one single word that I told myself I would, I would say, I knew it, and it's simple, and then it reminds me. I'm disciplined. I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna say what I. I'm gonna do what I said I was going to do, and that word of the year has helped tremendously. It looks like I've got Ashley. Hi, and, Ashley. And, and we're only six days into the year. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and I've actually seen it in you. You know, you, you're like, you know what? I gotta do this. I said I was gonna do it. I mean, every day she's doing her morning study or affirmations. I mean, it's become a religious thing. I mean, I've been I mean, doing great. that, but it's just, it has more of an effect on me right now. Um, Ashley, you've got the word grace. That is awesome. See, and that whatever that means for you, right? And it's all personal. It's got to be something that you know that you can hang on to. I've got the word written um, also in my journal so that when I open it, because I'll open it um, and see, I'll see it every day. And then again, you can place that word anywhere around, you know, what your word is. And that's just helped me a, a lot already. And I want that to help me throughout my entire 2019 and throughout my life. But I'm sure of 2020, I'm going to come up with a different word. But right now, that's the word for me. 2020 should be vision. <laughs> ah, I just got that. Oh, no, but you're like, a quick wit. I know. So. I was like, okay. So. Oh, so I'm not yeah. yeah. I got to get to 2020, <laughs> but 2019. So like, um, and I like it. I haven't come up with a personal word for me yet. I have a lot that I'm kind of wrestling I with. Did. I haven't had one that's really settled on my. That's but I do have about. one for work, and it's not a word. It's actually a phrase. And and for our company Zim, our our mantra for this year is make it easy. So we want to make our software easy. We want to make the customer oh. experience easier. We want to make our support easier. So everything is, the question is, is, is it going to make it easy for somebody? And, and I think that's an important thing. So you can have a phrase or a word or something that really is kind of your mantra for 2019 that helps you stay focused on what you're trying to accomplish either per personally or professionally. Right. So, or know. as a couple. Yeah, that's true. You can definitely have whatever, whatever works for you. And I just was thinking when you said make it easy, I actually was going to say along with the no better, do better was do what's right, not easy. But that just means, you know, you don't take the easy road like I do when I hit the snooze. You can say, I'm going to do what's right and get up because I know oh, I like that. if I don't get up, I'm going to be late, which then perpetuates the issue of, you know, not not doing what the habit I want to change. Yeah. And that's not good. I don't want to be late to things. So I got to get up. I'm going to be disciplined. And, and that's, but I'm doing what's right and not easy. But that doesn't apply to what his, his company thing is because it's easy means something different to him. No, but, but I like that because a lot of times doing what right, doing what is right requires discipline. Mm -hmm. And so like in, in our case, doing what is right is to make it easier for our customers, yeah. make it easier right. for our team, make it easier for, you know, the promotions, etc. And so there, you know, you got to get to that core of what you're trying to accomplish in this year and find the word or phrase that really will help you stay on track. So. I know, I like the, um, I was going to say, like, just make it a word, um, cause I was thinking about phrases sometimes, but you know what, whatever works for you. Cause I, I do was like thinking, a word though. It, it makes it it's very, very fast. simple. It's like, boom. Like, and I just remember and I'm like, yeah, but you know what you work with, do what's work, 
do what works for you, boo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, All that's right. great. No, that's awesome. So, you know, we're going to have, we're really looking forward to 2019. Judy and I are actually working on some things behind the scenes that we hope to be able to announce very shortly. And uh, as Judy said, if you want, if you have a favorite recipe, mm -hmm. share it with us, send it to us, and we will try to do a makeover, an upgrade on it. Not so. try, I'm going to make it She's over. She's going to make I'm, it. It's just gonna whether or not it will be successful. It's whether it's whether or not it's going to be edible. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right, guys, we shall be back in about an hour when this bread is done. So Awesome. All right, here, I want to do some... Oh. We'll do it later. Okay. okay. Peace out, friends. We will see you shortly. See you. Happy Sunday. <laughs> hey, guys. We're back. It's We're been back. an hour. It's been over an hour. And our house smells awesome. <laughs> yes. Okay. It smells really good. So. I, don't, I didn't get to tell them about the hat. Well, you can tell them about the hat. So, look. Judy had to match. So, I got the super apron for Christmas. And, and I was feeling left out. So we grabbed the <laughs> Super Adrian Super Detailing Cap to give him a shout out and yes. have Judy be a Twinkie with me. I know because you see, I need a Wonder Woman apron. <laughs> yes, you do. Yeah, <laughs> I like feel like I should be Wonder Woman and Superman. You are a woman, Wonder Woman. What superhero power do you have? I don't know, but I don't feel very super. I'm more like midget man <laughs> or mighty you know, mouse I, was say, I don't even know what that means but it doesn't matter no it doesn't. we have our own you guys have your own superpowers but that's for another time yes to it talk. is i want to show you this do you know what this is this is that glaze this is the glaze that we made earlier in that pot and it's thickened up and this smells amazing yes it does it's that banana jamaican banana bread but we've got coconut and pineapple juice and all that and then this glaze so i'm going to pour the glaze on top let's see how quick how easily Ooh. 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 <laughs> that's looking dang being delicious so i know the so. picture that she sent me has like a white glaze um and i probably could have made this a white lighter glaze if i used my clear vanilla Okay, so guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to save some of this glaze for my own personal slice. <laughs> and I, I just want to give you a close-up of that yummy goodness. Look at that. <laughs> that hey. just looks awesome. I'm so excited. So, I wish I had a camera to take a picture of it. Yeah, oh, we don't, our cameras, our are, cameras are, all on are on there. there so. Oh, well. That's all good. So, so we're going to cut this now, right? Can I grab yeah. the fork? Okay, I'll grab the fork. This looks super yummy. Oh, it's still so warm. Enough, so nice. Look wow. At that. Look at that. Put hey, the, let me, yes. let me, ooh, can you see the steam? Ooh. Let me clarify something here because I know I say I'm upgrading it to a healthy version. It's healthy ish. Let me tell you, all that coconut sugar doesn't mean like, oh, it's coconut sugar. I can eat all I want. It's still sugar, okay? Yeah. Sugar is sugar is sugar. Still processes the same in the body. You just need to know that the coconut sugar is definitely going to be oh dang it's pretty it's so hot hold on the coconut no okay the coconut sugar is going to be a little more new it has a little more nutrition than the other that's all um so it's a healthier version oh it's so it's really hot guys and that's why and it's that's coming, the way i like and it, it's so. coming off like Look at that. Wait, I'm missing the crust part super which, yummy honestly i love the crust part that looks super awesome i'm gonna so. give myself the crust the reason is, it's like, it's a little sticky oh, on the so, inside. So, did you hear that? Yeah, myself. <laughs> I get the heel. <laughs> I which love is okay. that. I love the heel. Okay, let me just like, No, it's okay. You. Hold on, you're going to use your fork. What are you doing on the back side of that thing? Well, I just was going to pick it up and try it. But it, you know, it's too hot. No, it's not. It's perfect. Okay, I'm putting more glaze on mine. So, I don't need more glaze. I just want to try it on okay. natural. Okay, so just so you know, the glaze, I heated it up a little bit because it wasn't, it was too thick. And so uh, my hands are a little sticky. All right, so, so wait, wait, I gotta get my bite ready. Ooh, it's pretty, looks... okay, so mine, I feel like it needs to cook a little bit more. No, but it's probably it just needs to cool. Just needs to cool. But it's we're just... too impatient. No, because I, I really like things when they come right out of the oven. And what? I'm that guy that's going, Right, because I like the war. I'm good with that. So. That's what he's doing too. He's okay. gonna do that watch. I probably will, but that's okay. Okay, are, are we ready? ready? Oh, no, okay. are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, <laughs> one, two, three. 
Oh yeah. Wow. Wow. Mmm. That is awesome. You're with your mouthful. I am. Oh. Mmm. Yeah, these are the bomb. Oh wow. I like the glaze. Mm -hmm. The glaze is really good, and you took it all. <laughs> no, I didn't. There's a little bit left. <laughs> I can make more, maybe. This wow. is great. Can you taste the banana? I do. Yes. It's really good. I can't really taste the pineapple, though. Mm -mm. But, but you, I taste the coconut, for sure. Oh, yeah, I definitely taste coconut. I think the only way we could do if we tasted pineapple, but it wasn't supposed to be pineapple. It wasn't no. supposed to be a tropical sweet bread. It was supposed to be a banana bread. It's Jamaican because of the rum. <laughs> Which we didn't put the rum in, so but you, you should can. try it with you the can, rum. You can try it with the rum. We didn't put it in there, um, but we did pineapple juice instead. Or you could do apple juice. But this is just like delicious, and I love that. Did you see him take that huge pot? He just like. <laughs> um, this is I, really good. I love the fact that it's got. I don't know. I mean, it's got. It's more of all the naturals. That's kind of that's what we're oh, we're going after. It's not so much that it's going to be. Well, yeah, it's more natural stuff like the coconut right. sugar. What else was there that was more natural that I changed out? I guess the gluten-free flour. So gluten-free flour. You put in and you exchange coconut sugar for regular sugar. Um, maple syrup. Maple syrup. Instead of powdered instead sugar. Instead of powdered sugar. And so it's really about finding healthier options mm -hmm. to help us have a fitter life, a healthier life. So. Oh, guys. The, you know, we. I think this is our second recipe that's been... Two thumbs up and two thanks. <laughs> I keep forgetting to put that on there. Okay. <laughs> this one is this. really good. I'm going to post the recipe. I wouldn't think this would be good if you put some nuts in it. So. Mm. He's always saying wow. that every time he says nuts. Puts the nut. Put the Not nut. Not always. In. I just think this. It'd mm. be good. Um, Betty. Here wow. you go. Try it. <laughs> These are awesome. I haven't tried it without like the way it's being made, but... um. I'm sure that's delicious too, but this is the bomb.com. It is definitely good. All right, friends, enjoy the recipe, enjoy your Sunday, and bon appetit. Bon appetit. <laughs> and make sure you send us your recipes so that mm. we can upgrade them in 2019. And make sure to like and share what we're doing here because we want to share the goodness. Definitely so. sharing the goodness. All right, guys, have a great one. Have a great one. Go back to eating. <laughs> Those are super, mm. super yummy. <laughs>